Today we are going to look at more features of PowerPoint. We are going to look yesterday we saw using master slide and we said the master slide what you put on the master slide appears on each and every slide. But when you look at this slide here, <clears throat> this PowerPoint presentation, the first page looks different from other pages. So it means if we use the method for yesterday, we cannot achieve this, whereby the first page is different from other pages. <clears throat> so we are going to see <clears throat> how we make the first page look differently and the other page, the rest of the slides are also different from the first page. So we are going to open a new slide, PowerPoint presentation. <clears throat> then we shall go to view. Under view, we get slide master. Now, if you scroll down and we go to the first slide here, whatever we put on this first slide, say if I turn the text here into red, <clears throat> I turn it, you, as you sit down here, all the slides are turning into red. All the text, the heading side is turning into red. But now I want only the first page, and I don't want to turn the other pages. So what we are going to do, we shall leave this first slide, then we go to the next slide. So our next slide will be our first slide in a presentation. So we are going to design this first slide. I'm going to insert a picture there. Let me, let's put a logo for the university. And I'm going to put that logo design there. I'm going to draw a line. And I'll format that line. And I'm going to draw another shape. Again, I'll format that shape. I'm going to use navy blue. Okay. So when we close master slide, you see I've designed my first slide. Now I'm going to design the second slide. We should look different eh, from this one. So I'll go back to slide master. <clears throat> So I'm going to design the second slide. And this second slide, um, let's put a shape up here. Here I'm going to use navy blue. And I'm going to draw an arrow on it. So I use navy blue. I'm going to group the two shapes. Oh, these are Microsoft Word features which we saw. So I'll group the two shapes. Okay. Then I'm going to. This time I'm going to put the logo of the university down here. 
a result, a picture. So all the designs you do, they depend on you, what you want. Okay, let me put this instead of the, let me put this logo. Let me put that one down there. Okay, then I'm going to close the slide master. So as you see, I have only one slide. I can put the type the title there. Introduction to computers. By Masoke. So that's my first slide. Now when I click new, as you see, my second slide has changed. It is no longer like the first one. So I can put, then I want to put what I want. Challenges, let me get some from Microsoft Word here. I copy. I'm using copy and paste. I can put the challenges. So I create a new slide. Now you can see all of these other slides. Advantages. All other slides will be exactly the same. But the first slide is different. So the more slides now I put, they all be the same. So as you can see, the first slide is different from these other slides. So that's how you use master slide to make different slides. As you can see, the first slide here is different from these other slides. So we do that by using slide master. Then we have also what we call handout master. When you click on handout master, so yeah, you determine how many slides you want on the page. So you can put a header on the page or you can remove it. You can put footer, you can remove it. Date, can remove it. Page numbers, or you can remove them. At the same time, you can determine how many slides will appear on your page. So when you come to slide per page, so you can choose one slide can choose two slides, you can choose depending on how many slides you want per page. That is slide hard out. So also that one, we close it from here, you close. Still under view, we have what we call notes master. So we saw the slide master, we have seen the slide handout master, then we have notes master. So notes master will help you to also to put, you have options here, slides, slide images, footer, and so on and so forth. So this is how, how your slides will appear as notes. You have also page orientation. You can change from portrait to landscape, depending on what you want. We'll close that. <clears throat> So in this video, we have seen how to use slide master, different slide master options, handout master, and notes master. You can also put a ruler, you can remove it, you can put the grids, you can remove them, you can put the guides, you can remove them. All those are optional. Okay, let's end here with the slide masters, and we meet in the next video. Thank you.